thousands of mompreneurs are crushing it at home and work. But why start a business as a parent? Now, running a business gives you much needed flexibility to manage your work and your household. You get to prepare your own schedule and structure your day according to your own needs. Now, if you don't believe that you can make money with your own business while raising a child, here are the stories of 15 mompreneurs who are crushing it that I've interviewed personally on my podcast, each with a different business model. Now, I invite you to learn more about what motivated them to take the plunge. Now, the first person I want to talk about is a blogger mom, and she created a six-figure lifestyle blog. Now, Tony Urbach runs the popular blog, thehappyhousewife.com, where she writes about home improvement, raising kids, and DIY. Now, due to the popularity of her content, she started multiple other businesses, including the Seller Summit and a popular podcast over at Profitable Audience. But here's the thing. She has seven children, and she homeschooled all of her kids. Now, her secret? She dedicated her limited hours to guest blogging, building a network, and email marketing. She also uses Pinterest, where almost 80% of the users are women, to drive traffic to her blog. Now, Tony's biggest sources of revenue are influencer marketing, advertising, selling physical products and courses, and being a brand ambassador. Now, if you're interested in starting your own profitable blog, you can take my free mini course on how to start a profitable blog below, and you can also listen to her podcast episode in the show notes. The next person I want to talk about started a six-figure jewelry business without advertising. Now, Angela Lee runs an online jewelry store over at AzuraJewelry.com where she sells ethically sourced sterling silver pieces. Now, although jewelry is a highly competitive niche, Angela managed to transform her side hustle into a six-figure business without spending a penny on advertising. Now, a student in my Create a Profitable Online Store course, Angela honed in on her own unique selling propositions and decided to focus on Instagram and TikTok to promote her jewelry. Now, I asked Angela what advice she would give people considering starting an online business. And she said, streamline your business by establishing a good system early on and then document all the questions customers ask. Now, if you're interested in learning how to start your own e-commerce store, take my free six-day mini course in the show notes below. Next person I want to talk about is a fashion queen, and she went from zero to $140 million selling boutique clothing. Now, Tori Gerbig had a full-time insurance job and a small side hustle selling products on eBay. Now, with her due date approaching fast, she wanted to increase sales on her small eBay store since her job didn't provide paid maternity leave. Now, Tori then started a Facebook group of local women to sell boutique kids and women's clothing. And to her surprise, the group grew to 10,000 members quickly. And after witnessing that growth, Tori and her husband decided to create a website called Pink Lily without any prior technical experience. And within six months of launching, they hit a million dollars in sales. Now, Tori's strategy was simple. She took pictures of herself wearing boutique clothing rather than using models and posted them consistently on all of her social media platforms every single day. And since then, Pink Lily has scaled to become a $140 million a year business. You can listen to her episode in the show notes below. Next person I want to talk about is a multi-millionaire mama who went from a corporate job to selling handkerchiefs online. And if you don't recognize the story, this is none other than my wife, Jen Chu. She was a successful financial analyst who found it challenging to balance her crazy and erratic working hours and her desire to spend more time with her kids. Now, her entrepreneurial journey started when she was planning her wedding and had a tough time finding good quality linens for the ceremony. And ultimately, she ended up ordering handkerchiefs from a Chinese vendor in bulk. And then after the ceremony, she listed the unused linens on eBay and to her surprise, they sold like hotcakes. And that is when she decided to launch Bumblebee Linens to sell handkerchiefs and linens. Now, having her own online business allowed Jen to quit her job, stay at home, and take care of her children while running the online store at the same time. And since then, the company has made millions in sales. Now, once again, if you're interested in starting your own e-commerce store, take my free six-day mini course in the show notes below. And you can also listen to her podcast episode below as well. Now, the next person I want to talk about is an innovative mama who started a seven-figure dropshipping business. Now, Annette Delancey sells orthopedic soft goods such as cast covers and boot covers through her website over at castcovers.com. But here's the kicker. She doesn't have a warehouse or local employees, and her business is 100% online, and she drop ships her own private label products. Now, drop shipping is a business model where sellers don't store the products they sell. Instead, they ask their suppliers to pack and ship the product for them. Now, private labeling is when sellers use a third-party manufacturer to produce a product with the seller's branding. 
Now, Annette saw a market for cast covers when her 10-year-old daughter broke her arm and wanted a better looking cast. So Annette dusted off her sewing machine and made her a cute cast cover. And wherever her daughter went, people started asking her where she got her cast, and that's when she knew she was onto something great. Annette then set up booths at orthopedic conferences to promote her new product and network with orthopedic surgeons. And later on, she convinced them to join her affiliate program where they would get a cut of every sale made through their office. You can listen to her podcast episode below. Now, so far we've talked about physical products. This next mom was a musician and she was a songwriter that made 2 million by selling a course. Now, Kathy Heller has had an exciting journey. She went from struggling to make ends meet to making six figures as a songwriter and a passionate music lover. Kathy moved to LA when she was 24 and started sending her demos to record labels. And after two years, she was signed on to Interscope Records. Now, one thing led to another and she ended up making music for famous shows like Pretty Little Liars and Criminal Minds. Now, Kathy decided to create a course called Six Figure Songwriting after several artists asked her to share the valuable lessons she learned along the way. Now, her course was so successful that she made $2 million in her first year. And when Kathy was pregnant with her third daughter, she started her own podcast called Don't Keep Your Day Job, which now has more than 15 million downloads. Now, when I asked Kathy what advice she would give someone in a dead end job, she said, Spend some time giving yourself the space to feel and dream and make a list of like five lives that you would love to live. You can listen to our podcast in the show notes below. This next mom had a love for cross stitch and she made six figures by turning her hobby into a business. Now, Sally Wilson, a student in my class who is an avid cross stitcher, sells cross stitch supplies on her website over at caterpillarcrossstitch.com. Now, before Sally started her business, she used to post her designs on a Reddit cross stitch community for feedback. And when she started receiving favorable reviews online from her fellow cross stitchers, she decided to turn her hobby into a business. She used Shopify to create her website and posted consistently on social media. And she created tutorials on how to cross stitch, how to use a hoop on her YouTube channel. And her followers grew organically and the sales followed. She now makes seven figures per year and has won numerous awards while raising two kids. You can listen to her podcast episode below. This next mom is a party supplier. She went from being banned on Etsy to making $90,000 per month. Amanda Wittenborn is a student in my course and makes over 2 million per year selling children's party supplies online through her website over at amandacreation.com. Now Amanda started creating digital designs for invitations and decorations out of her love for organizing theme parties for her three children. Now after making a name for herself locally, she opened an Etsy shop and built a small number of followers. Now due to a miscommunication between Minecraft and Etsy, she got banned and lost all of her revenue overnight. She hit rock bottom soon after that and needed a year to get back onto her feet. Amanda then built her own website, used Vistaprint to print her own designs and used Amazon FBA for fulfillment. And the result, her sales increased tenfold. You can listen to our podcast episode below. Now let's switch gears and talk about this other mom who's a fertility blogger. She makes $400,000 per year helping women with their fertility. Kim Campbell is an excellent example of how to make money with digital products and memberships. And she has a membership site called smartfertilitychoices.com where she sells digital courses. Now, Kim started blogging to share her personal experience with fertility issues and PCOS. She came up with a 30 day diet challenge, which helped increase followers on her Facebook and Instagram pages. Kim also happens to be a student of my create a profitable online store course. And although my course mainly focuses on selling physical products, Kim used the lessons to optimize her store for the search engines and improve her advertising. And she successfully increased signups for her diet challenge and now makes over $400,000 per year via courses and memberships. You can listen to her podcast episode below. Now this next mom is a therapy product inventor who made six figures after being laid off of her job. Chelsea Frank, a mother of four kids, went from having $100 in her bank account to making six figures and she sells contoured hot and cold therapy products through her website, Life and Limb Gel, and on Amazon. Now, Chelsea has an interesting background. She was designing these packs for a company when they laid her off and then expected her to continue developing products for them without getting paid. Chelsea then borrowed money from her family and made the products by hand until she started getting orders from eBay, after which she employed people under her to keep up with demand. Now, Chelsea believes in word of mouth marketing because it works. Local pharmacies and doctors started carrying her products because patients specifically requested her products. And Chelsea's business has grown exponentially over the years and now has clients all over the world. 
You can listen to her podcast episode below. Now this next mom found success drop shipping and she makes six figures selling dollhouse furniture working less than five hours per week. Amanda Austin left her corporate job and started her dollhouse furniture shop called shopofminiatures.com to earn money while spending more time with her two kids. Now she chose dollhouse furniture as her niche because she had fond memories playing with a handmade dollhouse her grandmother gave her as a kid. Now Amanda found a local dropshipping supplier to source and ship her products and then sold them from her website. And today she serves a diverse clientele which includes older women, men, and kids. Now Amanda took three years to replace her corporate income with her business and in those three years, she worked for another e-commerce company to understand how to market her business and drive traffic with ads. She then took my class and redesigned her website, which has since grown by more than 250%. You can listen to her podcast episode below. This next mom started a product that turned foot pain into a business, and she makes $100,000 per month selling high heel insoles. Now, Abby Walker sells award-winning high heel insoles through her website over at vivianlu.com. Now her love for high heels made her start a blog called Mama Shoes, where she wrote about foot sprays designed to alleviate pain for women who wear high heels. And seeing the potential with her idea, she created her own foot spray without any knowledge of manufacturing or formulations. Ultimately, she hired people and successfully created the product, but failed to scale production for her first business venture. And then one day, she came across a product called Insolia and ended up becoming the exclusive distributor for Insolia insoles in the US and Canada. One thing led to another and Abby started generating sales through word of mouth. And soon after, Abby got featured in Oprah Magazine and HSN and now makes over $100,000 a month in sales. You can listen to her podcast episode below. Now this next mom makes six figures per year being healthy. Jada Selner and Jen Hansard have 300,000 Facebook fans, over 200,000 email subs and 370,000 Instagram followers. And they've been all over the press. They met in a mom's group and came together to start a parenting blog called Family Sponge. And while running the blog, they came across the idea of starting an Instagram account that showcased green smoothie recipes. Now realizing the potential in this idea, they pivoted from their blog, Family Sponge, and created a new brand called Simple Green Smoothies. Want to know how Jada and Jen managed to build a large following? Well, they created an Instagram account before launching their website and shared images with full recipes without directing people to their website. Now this strategy helped them build trust by adding value with the recipes, which motivated people to share their content. You can check out their episode below. This next mom started a successful t-shirt business and made six figures while being pregnant. Andrea Ayers managed to build a t-shirt brand while she was pregnant and moving across the country. Now, how did she make six figures selling in one of the hardest categories? Well, she reached out to yoga studio owners to sell eco-friendly t-shirts that specifically appealed to yoga practitioners. Andrea also decided to sell her own products wholesale as opposed to retail to avoid losing money with returns and exchanges. Andrea also had early mover advantage as there weren't that many eco-friendly brands around when she started. And she improved her brand's visibility by sending free samples to yoga and mom bloggers. Now, after turning a side hustle to a full-time business and making six figures within her first 18 months, Andrea launched launchgrowjoy.com where she helps entrepreneurs get free publicity for their products check out her podcast episode below. By the way, I forgot to mention that my kids started their own print-on-demand t-shirt company too, which you can check out over at Kid in Charge. Now this final mom went from helping Amazon sellers to selling on Amazon herself. Elizabeth Mercer started Jungle Scout, a one-stop shop for all the tools you need to run an Amazon business. And despite the success of Jungle Scout, Elizabeth wanted to build her own company from the ground up, so she stepped down from Jungle Scout to start a seven-figure e-commerce business selling ergonomic furniture over at sleekform.com. Now Elizabeth got into furniture selling because she is a self-proclaimed office organization nerd. She researched Amazon furniture reviews and used that feedback to build ergonomic products with the help of a designer. It's been more than four years since Elizabeth started Sleekform and she now makes seven figures by selling on both Amazon and her own website. Listen to her episode below. Now I hope you've been inspired by these mompreneur stories. Now, starting something new when you already have so many responsibilities can be daunting, but if these moms can do it, then so can you. Give yourself a chance and you can spend more time with your loved ones as opposed to your day job. Now, most of the mompreneurs mentioned above started their business as a side hustle before switching to full time. Listen to their stories for inspiration and make a list of things you can do to earn some extra cash on the side. It also helps to choose a niche that you love. This way you won't mind putting in the extra hours to help your business succeed. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
Now, if you like what you saw, there's actually a lot more where that came from if you subscribe to my channel below. And if you are interested in learning how to sell physical products online, then click over here and take my free six day mini course where I'll walk you through everything that you need to know to get started in e-commerce. Thanks for watching.